This video is going to cover Objective 1.3 practice tasks. The first step asks you to turn on the automatic hyphenation. So you're going to go to the Layout tab, go to Hyphenation, and you're going to choose Automatic. Then you're going to apply the Facet Theme. So you go to the Design tab, go to Themes on your left, and then Facet Theme is the first one um, on the top, on the second one over on the top column. Then it asks you to choose colors, and you're going to choose red-orange. And then you're going to change the font set to Corbel. So right next to the colors is the font, and you're going to choose Corbel. On page two, you're going to add a facet header. So if you scroll down and you click in the header on page two, and click on header, you can click on facet, and you're going to choose the even paged header and then add the circle right page number on the right margin. So you're going to go to page number, page margins, and you're going to look for circle right. Then it asks you to remove anything that might be on the first page. In my case, there isn't anything on the first page, but if a circle right appears here, you can just click on it and hit delete. And you also may, may, if you're in this screen, need to choose different on first page for one of these elements as well. But if you did it this way, you shouldn't have any issues as far as it only showing up on the second page. Then you're going to add a diagonal watermark that displays the text example only to the page background. So you're going to click on insert, and then you're going to choose watermark. And that is going to be actually on the design tab and you're going to go over to watermark and you're going to choose custom watermark and we are going to choose text watermark and at a diagonal watermark so you're going to choose the layout here as diagonal and text display is example only so we're going to type in instead of ASAP example only, then format the watermark as semi-transparent 54 point orange. So we're going to have the box check semi-transparent. Size is going to be 54 and then the color is going to be orange. And we're looking for orange accent 4 so that's going to be this one here, third one in from the right. Then you're going to hit OK, and you'll see example only appears on both pages of the document. And then it says apply the casual style set to the document. So up top where you see all of these different document formatting types, you're looking for casual. And then once you locate casual style set, you're going to choose that. And then this completes objective 1.3 practice tasks.